I don't get what I want, I get what I need. Every single day I'm heading off to my dream, and I get everything that I damn well please. I don't give a damn if you all listen to All right, uh, guys, welcome to the One Percenter Podcast. Let's get to it. We're going to drop straight heat and value. Um, there's a company that I love. It's called RepCard, okay? Number one, if I was a sales pro and I had this, I would have made millions more okay the automation that's inside of it is absolutely stupid when i saw the way it functioned when i saw the way it worked when i used it on my phone when i downloaded the app i was like dude like i can't believe we're living in an era of time where technology like this can make us so much money it's it's crazy i'm gonna let the owner himself explain it i want you to understand something okay um there's a lot of guys in his company that can explain this really well and i was like dude i don't want them to explain it i want the owner to explain it because i want to know number one why you built it right and as he was telling me i was like stop we're going to go shoot a podcast on this. I want you to tell people, number one, because he did door-to-door -door forever. You guys know I'm a sales freak. I love leaders. And I love seeing people, like, do big stuff. And he's doing really big stuff. This company's blown up. All the companies I train use this. So I want him to tell us, number one, why did you build this? Tell us a little bit about you. And tell us some functionalities of RepCard because my entire channel are, are sales reps, okay? By the way, everybody sells, just so you're aware. You don't have to be in door-to-door -door sales. You don't have to do anything. If you're in sales, this is crazy. But you built this for a certain niche, and it works for all sales industries. I want you to kind of explain what it does, who you are, why you why you built it, and for the next 29 minutes, I I mean I, I want to like give as much value as we physically can. You're an owner of a company now. You've been in sales. You have been where every person is right now. You decide to create something big. You created it, and now I'm watching everybody use it, and I'm like, dude, who is who is this rep card? Like, what is this? And then I start digging into it, and I'm like, this is crazy. So I was like, dude, I need to get a hold of the owner. And as we're talking, I'm like, dude, we need to share this to everybody I know because I love you guys. I want you to have as much value as I can. I want you to be able to use uh, any resource that's out there that can help you make more money. So, man, I appreciate you being here with me, bro. And uh, we're course, in Scottsdale, man. Arizona. <laughs> Let's rip it, man. Let's get it. How, yeah. how, so family, how, how old were you when you got in sales? Just lay it all out there, man. Let us learn you. Yeah, so I got into door-to-door -door sales in 2010. Uh -huh. So I uh, served a mission for my church, mm. came home and got into door-to-door -door sales, ended up marrying uh, my house, high school sweetheart. We've been married for 13 years now, got four kids. So it's been a fun, awesome, crazy dude. journey. Um, did 12 years of door-to-door -door sales. And during that process, I just realized, like, there's so many gaps. You get these door-to-door -door guys going door to door and a lot of times that you knock a door dude and they, people look out their window and they're like who's this like criminal at my doorstep and so this idea of rep card of like creating credibility for sales reps to be able to connect with the people that they spend five minutes talking to it's five minutes they're not talking with the neighbor mm -hmm. so if that person's going to give them five minutes let's be able to send a digital business card and create that credibility mm -hmm. so they can show their spouse but then how do you automatically follow up with them mm -hmm. and so in 2017 i was running a big pest control team and uh, I was like, man, if we had this tool now, like we could quantify this by my 60, 70 reps. And so I just started designing it. I was flying around the country visiting my pest control offices. And I just started to design while I was in the airplane this, this rep card idea. And then in 2018, we started developing it. We went to door to door con in 2019 and just showed up with a booth. We're like, we have no idea what's going to happen. I spent like 100 grand into this thing. Who knows what's going to happen? Well, let's go and show it to the world. And we went with this like really mediocre product. It was working. It was functional, but it was just like, we have no idea what's going to happen. And uh, the reception was amazing. The people just loved it because it was something that I think a lot of us wanted. You know, I, I had been in the field. So it wasn't like some tech that was built by some guy that just was like, I'm going to try to build something. It was like a need uh, from the pains of knocking doors. Yeah. And so that's how it, that's how it kind of got started. So where are you from? Uh, Arizona, so Mesa. Okay. Did Mesa. you? Are you from Arizona? And yeah, I grew up. Yep, grew up here. Yeah. Okay. And then you said you went to mission. I mission. served served a mission in Chile. You served a mission in Chile for two years. Two years, yeah. That's crazy. So so from eighteen to twenty. Yeah, yeah, nineteen to twenty one. So when you get out of school, right? Um, did you know you were going to go to do a mission trip? Yeah, when I got out of high school, I, that was like the focus of my youth was just kind of preparing for, for a mission. So in, in two years you left, uh, you guys, you get to write to your family, talk to them, but you don't get to call a lot, right? Yeah. Nowadays you can, but back when I went, uh, you could only call on mother's day and Christmas. Uh -huh. and so you twice could, a year, you, you could reach write out to letters your once, once a week, you were allowed to write letters. So, so. Chile, you're busting doors. You're knocking doors every day yeah. telling people about God. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a lot of people just walk in the streets there because the cars, you know, not everyone has a car. So you're doing a lot of street contacts, just stopping people in the middle of their day, which is, I think, even more, like, awkward than doing door-to-door -door, because you're like, hey, and you have to, like, just get them to stop right there. 
and you start talking about you know Jesus. So Dude, the ability to master a stranger, I always say, is the greatest tool that anybody could ever have. If I really truly like could start anybody out, it would be in a door to door mission trip, something like that. Yeah. Just so people can learn how to communicate. I really truly think we're in an era right now. You understand communication really well because you did it. In, in, in a mission trip to Chile, which I just learned that about you, which I think that's, that's amazing. I mean, truly just, you know, being in school for 18 years and then up and leaving your entire family, being able to reach out twice a year, writing your family, being there, knocking doors. Dude, talk about a tour. Learning Spanish, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you, you guys have to speak Spanish? Yeah. Do you speak so, Spanish? Yeah. Yeah, I speak fluent Spanish now, so. Dude, that's yeah. crazy, man, yeah. because now you're not only talking to people, but they speak Spanish and you speak English and now you got to learn it. Yes. Did you did you learn it before you went over there? No, I just learned as there. you're doing it. Yeah, so it's crazy. You man. learn going to the grocery store, seeing all the work. You know, it just, you just get immersed in it. So having to talk to them in their native language and yeah. you're nervous, and so it's like the compound of learning how to cold contact basically in a different language. It's just like there's a lot on your plate, but. So, so let's talk about some, so, and by, by the way, I love mm. that, dude. A lot of people, they, uh, I always say this, there's applicant teachers and there's theory teachers. And a lot of people make technology and they make things for sales reps and they've never sold. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. They've yep. never been in the field. Dude, they have no idea what we've been through. They have no idea rejection. They have no idea follow-up. They have no idea any of this stuff. But they make it because they want to make money and they think they can solve our problems. Right. But this stuff doesn't work for us. I, I had to try 15 different CRMs before I could <laughs> found one that was made by, sell, by a salesperson yeah. that could be used by a salesperson. Because if you have a tech brain and you make it for me and I got a sales brain, we don't communicate very yeah. well together, you know? So that's why I love about you being in sales. That's why I went and I said, all right, so door to door. So you go over there, you got to learn Spanish. You're, you're hitting doors. You come back. You and your wife get married. You run door to door yourself. You obviously move up through the ranks. You start a pest control company. You're flying all around the country. Let, let's talk. Did your team start using this before you brought it to market? Yeah. So in that, in, And did you make it for your team originally or did you make it? Yeah. Initially, it was like, you know, hey, I'm going to make this for my team because there's a massive need for it. But you know, as an entrepreneur, you're always like, what if I could get other oh, companies yeah. to adopt it? What if, you know, it could become something bigger than just a tool for my team? And you start out thinking it's going to cost 10 grand. And then when you get to a hundred grand, you're like, I kind of need this to pick up by other, uh, other companies. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and so, um, yeah, it started out with just a, a, a tool for my team. We used it at the last part of 2018 when we were building it, mm -hmm. you know, they were like, kind of like my initial testers. Mm -hmm. Um, and so kudos to those guys for, yeah. for sticking through it. But, uh, yeah, it started out with that. And then we went to door to door con. We were like, what's this door to door conference? Like there's not a better place to go show this off than to a bunch of door to door people. Mm -hmm. And so at that point you spent tens of thousands of dollars and you call them like, Hey, it's three grand for a booth. And you're like another three grand. Like, you're just like, am I doing this? And then, you know, you just, you know what, like all in or all, all in. Yeah. Either you're all in, you're all out. So went all in and just have continued to, to, to reinvest the money that's come in from it into the product and now it's at a whole different level Let, let's talk about some stories about rep card like let's talk about by the way why is it called rep card right like yes yeah, let's, yeah let's, so it's, let's go through a little bit of it because every and i want to tell you one of the ways that i met him is that i have big teams teams 500 people thousand people they're all using it and i'm like what is this because i i see people that have communication cards they have ways to send information to people they have this is way more than that, okay? Yeah. And a lot of people, I, I, didn't, I didn't understand that, right? So as I started asking, and even all the individuals, they used it. So then I was like, okay, so I started doing a little bit of research, and then as I talked to your team, they explained it, and I'm like, I'm like, let's talk about some functionalities of it. Why is it called rep card, right? And let's talk about some stories about like how this has really helped people. Is that cool? Yeah, let's do it. So the name rep card comes from reputation card. So mm. it's, you're sending your reputation. Like each of us, if you're in sales, and you don't realize that you're selling yourself first before you're selling your product, you're, you're just totally missing out on what you need to understand as a salesperson. Like you're selling yourself first and then your product. So the, the rep card helps you um, really sink that, that credibility and that story. Um, yeah, you can, a, you can send video. You hold in your hand yeah, so the, the thing you've got in your hand, like these, these cards here. That way people can kind of get an idea. You know, the, these cards can be used, um, but the, the best way to use RepCard is through the mobile app. That's what I thought. Because this is great for networking, 
but the mobile app allows you to send your card to someone and choose which videos you want to that want them to watch and what Can call we talk to actions. About that? Yeah. Okay. So like, so let's say I'm just giving an example. I just meet you. Okay. And yep. then you send me, um, the yeah. information. So if, if I met you and we were networking, we we're trying to like, you know, get together and, and, you know, network about how to blow up our businesses and separate mm -hmm. businesses, but we want to collaborate, then uh -huh. maybe you could just tap the card. But if, if I met you and you're a, a potential lead yeah, and I want to capture your information so as a salesperson, sales sales people, yeah, yeah I want to be in control of the situation. So I want to send it to you via the app. You want and me that to way, see what you want me to see. Yeah, and then I can capture your info. So I'm going to be like, you know, hey, your name was Andy, right? Okay, hey, let me, what was your What was your last name? Okay, what was your phone number? I'm going to send you my digital business card, and that way you can have a little bit more information about what we do. And then I can choose which video. So if I'm recruiting someone, I send them the recruiting video. That's awesome. Just so everybody listen to that real quick. And, and I want you to go through that again. But that was just super simple. Yeah, it's lead hey, capture. Yeah, number one, hey, Andy Elliott, by the way, just so you can get a little bit more information about me, you know, who I am, what I do, put a name with the face. I'd like to send you over my digital business card. Um, what is your full name again? Okay, and what's your last name? And what's your cell phone? Cool, I just sent you that. That way you have everything. By the way, he said that you can choose which video, what kind of content you want them to yeah, see. Yeah, you can choose if you want them to see your socials or not. You can choose which video. Mm -hmm. So again, if it's to a recruit, I'm trying to build my team, I send the recruiting video. Mm -hmm. If it's a homeowner, I'm going to send the video about, you know, why to go solar. Mm. Um, and then they can show their spouse. And when that, when that uh, card gets sent via text, it's a hyperlink, it's, you know, it's a URL. And when the homeowner clicks on it, it tells the sales rep that they clicked on it. It tells them that they watched the video. It tells them you know, maybe they watched it again later that night, which means mm. they probably showed their spouse. It tells me if they looked at my reviews. It tells me if they saved my contact info. Really? So when I was knocking doors still using rep card, when I sent someone my card and I saw that they saved my contact, what that told me was that they view me as a long-term relationship because they saved my contact info. That's awesome. And so now when I go back to that appointment tomorrow at 7 p.m. to show them solar, like I'm extremely confident and I'm fired up to go. And so it's hard to buy confidence or build confidence. Yeah, because it shows you how committed they are. It shows you how committed they to, are to or how not committed they are. If mm. it's an appointment on the other side of town, maybe you want to call and confirm that before you waste your time to drive 30 minutes, to drive 30 minutes mm -hmm. because the, the lack smart. of engagement. And so RepCard can give salespeople a lot of power and it's not a tool that a company offers to their sales team and it's like hey we're offering this tool and we're going to track what you guys are doing we just want to make sure you're like they're on your back it's hey here's a sales tool to help you do your business better because they're on they're 1099 they're entrepreneurs at the core and you want to give them a tool to enable them not to just track them mm. and so that's a big differentiator in 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 rep card is it's a true sales enablement tool for the individual so not just for the company. Yeah, it's, a, it's a digital business card. When you click on it, it's almost like a landing page. Yeah, it's a personal funnel. Yeah, and it keeps people focused funnel. on you. If you said go to my Instagram, dude, they're going to get lost dude, in two seconds. I'm so glad you said that. They're going to be they're going to be looking at you know anything else mm -hmm. but what they went there for. Like right. we've all gone to Instagram to look up something, yeah. and all of a sudden you're looking at dirt hole. bikes or your, all Red Bull came out with it. And all, I was dude, in a bunch of minutes. workout videos. I'm like, dude, what am I doing? Yeah. Why so it's I like click on this? this is a personal funnel. It's on the internet, so of course they can get, but it keeps them focused. And then we have integrations with like the Facebook Pixel. Mm -hmm. So imagine they go to your rep card. They end up ghosting you the next day at the, your appointment because life happens and they forgot about their kid's baseball game. And then because the Facebook Pixel, you can retarget them with an ad. Mm. And now they're on Instagram the next day sitting on the toilet and all of a sudden, boom, they see an ad from your company because they opened your rep card the day before. Huge for business owners. Massive recapture mm -hmm. and the reps can get um, back in front of those leads and close more deals. I love it. So, um, so this is for salespeople. Would you say any industry? Yeah, there's application to any industry. We, we've built a lot of features specifically for the door-to-door -door guys. Uh -huh that take it to kind of another level. Because they're playing a big numbers game. Yeah, right? so we've got like canvassing tools and, and uh, automated follow-up. Can you talk about that if you're in the door-to-door, -door, what kind of canvassing tools are in here? Yeah, so when you're canvassing, you need, you need a tool that's gonna speed up your day. You're trying to get, like you said, volume in. Mm -hmm. And uh, so our product is built from being in the field and seeing all the pains. Mm -hmm. And so when you pull open our maps and you look at a neighborhood, you're able to see everyone's name on, it, on the housetops. Mm. of who lives there that's great so talk about the jones effect you can like reference like hey i don't know if you know you know john smith over here but you have his, his you actual their name names. And, and you're then not you can, making up your neighbor you're actually yeah, saying names. it's actually an actual name yeah like, and so like betty harris you know three houses down yep and so then you can click on that and you can see if they own the house what their credit score is huge, what their age is huge. giving you a little bit of info about who you're going to be talking to mm -hmm. um 
And then from there, you can get into like our setter closer calendar. So a lot of companies have setters that go out first. That's huge. And then they book to a closer. So how do they know which closers are available? And, you know, when they're free, all that stuff. And so we made a setter closer calendar because there wasn't anything on the market that was specific to the way guys did it in door to door. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. So I'm here today with the owner of Rep Card as you're listening to our podcast. Guys, if you don't have Rep Card, number one, if you're a sales pro, it's costing you hundreds of thousands of dollars minimum, maybe millions. Okay. If you're a good one, if you're a, a company, everyone on your team needs to have this, the automation tool. When I saw this, I go, dude, if I would have had this when I was sold, when I sold, I would have made 10 times the money. So guys, as you're listening to this, you're going to see a link in the description box below, dude, procrastination is a thief of time. If you know this is the right thing to do, go down right now to the description box, click the link. If you're an individual, you can download this. You can start using it immediately. Okay. If you have a company, you can get it for your whole team. Everyone that I know, everybody that I train uses this. So guys, as you're continuing to watch us, as you're continuing to educate you, make sure you get this immediately, increase your sales. Let's make more money. Let's get back to the video. It's freaking massive. So we listen to our audience, listen to our users. What are the pains you're experiencing? And then we go build a tool that can solve their needs. So that's how we built the company just listening, that's listening dangerous. to our users. Um, what if, okay, uh, let's talk about automations. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Um, are those already pre-set up in the automations? Um, do you set them up yourself? How does, is it both? How does that work? Yeah, so we have some templates in there, but um, as a company, you can set up templates for your salespeople. So every new rep, if you get a new guy you recruit from Costco, I can't get to know what to say. He's new to sales, so you can have a pre-set up template for him. And when he knocks the door and the person says, you know, we're not interested right now, but like maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. Great, let me send you my card. And that lets you know if they really are interested in the future because they'll say, you know what? No, we don't want to give you any info. It's like, cool, on to the next. Mm -hmm. But if they're like, yeah, yeah, here's my info, he sends them the card, he can disposition to put them into a, a campaign. So they put them in a bucket that says this and is then boom, not interested. He today. can have that working for him as he moves on to the next house. So let's talk about that. This is huge. Um, does that does that come from that? Like how does how does that automation come through through an email text message either one text or email yeah okay so everybody listen to that for just a minute just think about this so if I'm a rep and I'm going to talk to people and you said I mean you could use this as an entrepreneur yeah everybody is all about you know net worth or your network is your net worth right like I need to meet more people I need to shake more hands you know I need to make more relationships you could literally create automations to just relationships you know what I mean yeah just get back in front of them. Yeah, like think about that, guys. Out of sight, out of mind. You know, like a lot of the re the times why people don't scale or grow is just not because people aren't interested. They're just not interested today because they're too busy. Yeah. And because people don't buy today, salespeople, we only see our hand in front of our face. Like we yeah. don't see this. We see this. So like I'm like I'm looking for someone to say yes. I know the rule. If I hit, I'm just giving an example. If I'm door to door, if I hit a hundred doors, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell one. All right. Let's just say that was the numbers. Yep. So I'm looking for that one that's gonna say yes. So all those people that sold no, said no yesterday, it's not that they're not interested in what I'm doing. It's just that they're not interested today. Right. The marketing is the right message to the right person at the right time. Yeah. And that's where the timing comes in with, with RepCard. Even if you don't put them into a campaign, they have the ability to follow up with you or contact you or open your card two months later. And I, I experienced that. I, what, what happens if they someone opens your card two months later? Does that notify so you? So it notifies you right through the app. Mm -hmm. And so I was in Lake Powell. Um, right before I went full time with RepCard and uh, I had been selling solar and this lady I talked to, she was in Texas. I did a zoom call with her. She, she didn't buy right then. And I'd sent her my card. And it's like two months later and she opened my card. Mm. So of course I tap on her or the, the, the notification, I send her a text and I'm like, Hey Sandra, just following up, you know, just was thinking about you. And she's like, Oh my gosh, I'm at the grocery store and someone brought up solar and I've been meaning to follow up with you. And you text me right when I opened your business card. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's meant to be. And what's funny is that I was looking back at the text thread and she had asked me questions like, do you know if this is going to work in my HOA? She had asked me all these buying questions and I just got busy or opened the text and forgot to respond. So I had already fumbled the ball on that particular, it was like a hot lead. Um, but when she opened my card, it re-engaged me and boom, called her up, closed the deal. And it's like the easiest money you've ever made because she's ready and she told me that she was ready not because she texted me but because she just opened the card and i was able to engage at the right place right time two months later yeah think about this i want to ask everybody a question okay so i tell my team every morning we wake up we need to send at least 10 to 15 people a message just saying hey i don't need anything from you just want to tell you have a good day and you know kick butt it's, it's a it's a we don't Love need anything that, from you text right 
And I make them do 10 or 15 every morning. It's just a great habit, right? And, and it has to start out by like, hey, you don't have to reply to this, and I don't need anything from you. It and just it's says like to family, I, could be business yep, relation, anything. Just have a blessed day. I hope you're doing well. And, uh, you know, have, love and that. crush it. Very simple. If, if you were to have this, you would know who to send those to every day. Now, now, now it's almost like Nostradamus. Like you can physically know who is interested in hearing from you without them telling you they're interested in hearing from you. If it was me, I woke up every day, I'd grab my phone and I'd be like, okay, cool. These 20 people clicked on my card yesterday. Yeah. And we have a feature that's called the hot contacts. Oh man. It it ranks those. So it just tells you in the last seven days, who's engaged with your rep card the most, whether it's a recruit that you're Uh trying to follow up with, it's the Costco guy or Uh whether it's a lead. He's watching that recruit video. Yeah. Yeah, He's like, dude, like, and he's nervous. He's nervous to jump ship and Mm -hmm. to, to go all in on, on himself. Um, and so we have this hot content feature if, that see, I'm just the person, if you like watch my video four times, I'd be sending a video back or a text back. I'd be <laughs> like, Hey man, it's Andy. I just wanted to tell you, you know, most people watch the video at least three to four times before they make a decision. <laughs> well, you know, some so, of our users will just call the person and be like, Hey, I know you just clicked on my card. What's going on? Like they're just blunt. And then That's other, pe- good. other people like are direct. just kind of vague. They're just like, hey, I just was driving past your neighborhood on my way home and thought I'd give you a call. You, See, you know, I like that. Name came across my desk, and they're more vague, and they let the people tell them, like, oh, my gosh, I was just thinking about you. And then it's like, no way. Well, what questions do you have? Yeah. And See, then, I, boom, they just – I love that. That's they, like the sell like a lion, act like a lamb. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that that's my approach. I, You know, I another experience I had, I was selling pest control and rip card. First started, you know, we're 50000 in or whatever. I'm just like, is this even going to work? And I knock on the door, and uh, this lady reaches out through the, the Vivint doorbell. She's like, hey, I'm not home. I'm at dinner. And I'm like, no big deal. I'm just the bug guy. Let me just send you my business card, and uh, you can call me if you need something. And I'm figuring she's going to give me some fake number. But I sent her my card. I'm walking down the driveway, and boom, I see she opens it. I'm like, okay, at least she gave me, like, a number. Like, unless she gave me a fake number and some mm-hmm. random dudes open in my card, whatever. Well, two weeks later, she calls me, and we have a feature that gives you a rep card caller ID. So her number wasn't in my phone book, but it's, she's in my rep card. So it reads the app, and it tells me San, Sandra's calling or whoever, whatever her name was. And so I answer it with her name. And she's like, oh, my gosh, you remember my name? And I'm like, yeah, I tried to do my best. Oh, okay, you know, so what's going on? on? So tell me that again. So I mean, that's important. I, you guys, listen. If you – I'm not going to pitch you guys. If you haven't clicked the link in the description box, which I told him I would put down there because I believe every person on planet Earth needs to use this. He's named about 20 different things that this, this card does. If, if, if you're really wanting to be the best, the difference between rich people and poor people is resourcefulness. I always want to have the upper hand. I always want to have the edge. Why not? When it's, um, so yeah. let's, let's go back to that. So you said that when, so she, yeah, when I, she picked up, you're like, Sandra, what's up? Yeah, I sent Because I my, would be like, dude, what? Yeah, you're like, like, who's this random number? Like, do I, you know, and as sales, typically salespeople will answer to random numbers. So you numbers. have that built into RepCard. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a function, um, and so it's a, the, the smart caller ID. So uh-huh. when I sent her my card, she went in as a contact in my rep card. Mm-hmm. But I didn't add her to my phone book. I don't want my phone contacts to be just like, yeah. you know, have all these contacts. But when she calls me, the... Uh, it will read the app uh-huh. and it will display anyone that's in your rep card. It'll tell you, it'll give you a rep card caller ID and it literally says rep card caller ID. Mm. And then it says Sandra Smith lead is calling. Dude, so it physically tells you that this person came from a rep card generated lead. Here's their number. Yeah. And then, it shows or, the random number. And then under it says rep card caller ID, Sandra Smith lead is calling. Mm. So then I answer it with her name and then she's like, Oh my gosh. She's like, Hey, I had, you know, a pest control company. I just moved here and they're not showing up. Can you come take care of me? I'm getting some spiders. I'm like, I'm actually in your neighborhood. I'm like 20 minutes down the road. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I'll just swing over. I'm talking to another customer. I had to make it sound like, you know, uh-huh. you're I'm like, I'll swing over. When I'm done with them. So then boom, I drive over. Her daughter lived in the other, it was a, a not a double wide, a, a, what do you call it? Duplexes. Uh-huh. Her daughter lived in the other side of the other duplex. So I signed them both up and it was the easiest money I've ever made. It's just like two lay downs, was able to sell them at a good contract value. And it's like, that, that was the moment when I was like, I think it may be onto something, you know, you're 50, whatever, th- tens of thousands of dollars into this. And I finally had like my own personal story where I was like, holy crap, this yeah. could be great. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. So I'm here today with the owner of rep card. As you're listening to our podcast, guys, if you don't have rep card, number one, if you're a sales pro, it's costing you hundreds of thousands of dollars, minimum, maybe millions. Okay. If you're a good one, if you're a, a company, 
everyone on your team needs to have this the automation tool when I saw this I go dude if I would have had this when I was sold when I sold I would have made 10 times the money so guys as you're listening to this you're gonna see a link in the description box below dude procrastination is a thief of time if you know this is the right thing to do go down right now to the description box click the link if you're an individual you can download this you can start using it immediately okay if you have a company you can get it for your whole team everyone that I know everybody that I train uses this so guys as you're continuing to watch us as you're continuing to educate you make sure you get this immediately increase your sales let's make more money let's get back to the video um, and now there's just tons and tons of stories. We go to events and people just come up to the booth and they're like, dude, this thing like changed the way I do business or like in, yeah. in, in, in it our revolutionized yeah. sales. Our whole mission is to impact the, the one, the individual. If we can help a salesperson be more um, organized and, and have a better headspace so they can show up to their spouse and to their kids better. And, you know, the, the boomerang, that, that our whole logo is about doing good business, taking care of your employees, then taking mm -hmm. care of your clients mm -hmm. and putting out good stuff and letting things come back to you through reviews and referrals and uh, just doing good business. Um, and we hope RepCard can be uh, a, a channel to facilitate that. Well it, well, it already is. And basically what RepCard is, is it's, it's the unfair advantage. Like, it's unfair. Like, I, I wouldn't. If I was in sales, I wouldn't tell anybody else about it. <laughs> I would just be like, this is my shit. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But I, I want you guys to know this. That this is truly the unfair advantage. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to become great, like, I'm always wondering what the greats are up to. You know, like, technology um, is processes and systems. Um, there's a mentor guy that I look up to. His name's Patrick Bet David, right? And when I started building my company, um, anytime I've ever done anything, I'm just going to give you an example. I started building my company. The only way for it to go to the next level wasn't for me to get better at sales. I was good at sales. I thought I was the best in the world at sales. Right. Systems and processes are where salespeople break and they stop scaling. You, you can be the best, but if it's just you just closing more deals and deals that you're in front of, you can only go so far. Yeah. This allows you to tap into that unfair advantage. This allows you to, in the era of technology, to use a piece of technology that was built by salespeople, which is you, for salespeople, which literally is very inexpensive. You can create automation. You know anytime someone's calling you back. It alerts you and it says it's a rep card person. This is so like, as I'm talking to you, I'm just thinking about how ghetto that I had to do things back when I sold without <laughs> knowing about your stuff. So yeah. when, when I would get somebody's contact information, I would, I would label them. I'm just giving an example. Um, it would be like Danny, uh, gas station, green hat. Right. Yep. yep. And then I've would, got tons of guys on my phone, dude, like Bob Taco Bell, like guy I wanted yeah. to recruit. I'm like, dude, you don't deserve to be at Taco Bell. You deserve to be making more yeah, money. So you would label him that, that, that. And I would have to, because I knew at one point, I would ask him, hey, man, hit me up if you ever want to do this. You know, call me back. So it would be like, lady red hat, you know, uh, cat crazy at the door. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, dude, I'm not playing. Like, I would label all these. And then so somebody, when they would call me back, it would be like, lady red hat crazy at the door. And I'm like, oh, I know who that lady is. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, you know, I'm like, hey, Tammy, what's up? And I would have to physically go in and save. And by the way, you said it, you don't have to save it into your contacts. Right, it's just in your rep card Rolodex. Rep Rolodex. That right there is genius because I had to physically save it in my contacts. So if you go through my contacts, you would think I'm a crazy person, right? <laughs> because yeah. I have, yeah. I have You've ten thousand <laughs> contacts of the the most random names, yeah. and I name everybody so I can remember them. Yeah, and half they the time they introduce you, forget name. their name, and then all you remember them by is like what they were wearing or whatever. So. And, and, you know, from RepCard, you can click a button, add to contacts. If that recruit turns into one of your sales yeah, guys, I mean, you just a, hit add to contacts and it says successfully now. added. Like it's done. It's yeah. in seconds. So, yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. so super important, right? So talk to us about um, teams. How does that work? Um, do you, do you white label them to the team? You don't like, like, what yeah, goes so, on? I mean, <clears throat> how does that work? If I'm a team and I've got 50 people. Right. And I reach out to you. Um, obviously, in, there's a link and I put it for you at the bottom because I want everybody to have access to you. They can click as an individual, normal sales guy. Yeah, you can download the app is. and get started. There's a free version you can use free for life. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's an upgraded version for individuals. Yeah. And, and then you always a, get the upgrade, guys. Yeah. Don't ever get anything free. I just and, want to tell you this. Like, no matter how good it is, like, dude, if you can't spend, you know, a little bit of money on yourself, like, dude, like, don't ever go free. Like, I, if you're going to get it, get it. Like right. free Pandora, 
Like I've given an example. I've got Pandora on my phone. I pay ten dollars a month, so I've skipped commercials. Right, right. Like, like people that are like uh, listening to their commercials, and they're like, "God, Pandora commercial again." I'm like, "Dude, pay ten bucks, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. get, <laughs> like, 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 quit being so cheap." Yeah, it's like, all, dude, like, yeah. be the client you're looking for. Exactly. Right? Like, you want yeah. people to pay you for stuff? Like, pay people. You know, yeah. I got a buddy, dude. Um, God, dude, it's just like I got a buddy and was telling me about he went to his buddy's steakhouse. And uh, he's like, dude, man, I thought my buddy was going to give me a deal. I'm like, dude, I can't believe that people just <laughs> yeah. want discounts on everything. Do dreams come with the discount? No. Do you want to discount your dreams? No. Like, dude, like pay. Like, do you want people to ask you for discounts? No. Then stop asking people for discounts. Do you want people to get stuff from you for free? I love no, that. No. Then stop doing free crap. Like, like, dude, like I truly believe this universe in winning, like as a spirit, recognizes those that like pay the price and those people get paid. Right. And like when you run around and you're always trying free stuff and you're always doing it's like you never make it, right? So yeah, like you got people that look for they spend so yeah, much like time I love looking that for you the said deal. It was free, but it's like, come on, dude, like give me a break. Like yeah. don't like yeah. like buy it, use it and you know, immerse in it. Um, but but you were telling me uh, individuals and teams. Yeah, and so the the teams there's so many other functions like a leaderboard ain't going to work if you have one person. So mm. once you have a team of 50, you got leaderboards, you can run competitions. Bam. So okay, you so, know, weekend warrior. So talk boom. about that. Yeah, so you, you want to run a competition for, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and say okay, whoever wins gets $500. Uh, we have a cool gift card concept where you're able to put in, you know, they get a gift card and they can take that 500 bucks and spend it at Home Depot or they can mm -hmm. go to Lululemon. Like they can redeem it at over a thousand different places it's all built in yeah it's all uh -huh. built in because uh, companies don't want to have to then spend time redeeming all these competitions mm -hmm. or you can add if you want to do a, a dirt bike or a custom longboard or pair of nikes or whatever the, the you can deal. you can add but your own prizes board, the dashboard so you're saying if i got 50 reps all 50 of my reps can look in there watch the leaderboard see what's happening i can use it as a tool i can i can get on my contacts i can literally yeah, they can have use full this. chat the setter closer calendar so there's a lot of um, a lot of things you can do as a, as a team that really create just a cohesive ecosystem. The number one thing we hear from owners is like, we want one app that we can onboard a new rep, get him into one app and he can have his training. He can have his, okay. um, he can have his chat. He can have his canvassing tool. He can have a calendar, That's you know, bad. competitions, like all of it. Like, how do we create that? And so we've over time just slowly created all of those major functions. So you get a team of 50 guys, you can actually scale Spartan solar. For example, mm -hmm. they, they started using rep card and they had, I think 50, 60 guys. Now they're at 450 guys and they're mm -hmm. still with us. Um, and so it's proven that it can scale with your organization and mm -hmm. be a tool to help you scale as you're trying to hit those big numbers. Yeah, guys. And by the way, uh, so I want to tell you guys, and this is, and I think this is kind of where, you know, we like to give a lot of value. You've given a ton of value. You've explained the product really well. If anybody's in sales, they have a team, they want to grow, they're an entrepreneur, you're an individual, doesn't matter. Everybody right now at this point should have already went and got it, but I get it if you're still finishing this. But I want to tell you something, I got a, I got a buddy of mine, his name's Alex, he owns a company called Spartan Solar, and me and him do a lot of business together, and he's a great guy. And one of the things that I asked him, what do you feel like a lot of your success has come from? And he said, well, rep card. He goes, dude, my guys are always on the same page. They're always, you know, fighting to be great. They have this great technology system. I didn't have to go spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to build this. This guy already built it. Um, it has everything inside of it. It's one place. My whole company, everything lives in there. It's very simple. This guy's scaling. He's like top 5% in the solar industry. He's going for number one. He is on his way. And it's so crazy how one little tool can change an entire company. And dude, as a salesperson, like one of the things that I always forget to do, what's the worst thing that salespeople uh, don't do? Follow up. Yeah. No salespeople follow up. If you're watching this, quit lying. Salespeople <laughs> don't follow up. And if you do, this is the greatest thing that could ever complement the follow up that you're doing. This is crazy. And, and I, I almost hate that I am in my own business now because when I was a sales rep, I did everything ghetto. I used 15 different pieces of, I would, yeah, I I would call like watered down technology compared to this. Um, I had to log into 15 different places, pay 15 different people, and it was pure chaos. But it was the only way that I could try to create a system. Right. Systems and processes will make you rich. If you're in sales or if you're a leader, if you're in any industry, you need to make sure you guys have rep card. I'll tell you, Zandi Elliott, I, I back this highly. 
If you guys don't use this, you're missing out. Um, learn it, master it. It's very easy. The number one thing that I've asked people, I said, how easy was it for you to learn it? And they go, it's super easy. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm like, like how, like super easy. Like it's very, very simple. It, it's built by salespeople for salespeople. So there you go. So we, we know your time's valuable. We're not trying to waste your time. Um, yeah. And I, I still lead a lot of the product the way it's designed because I can, you know, speak to it and then we listen to our users. So it's, it's still being designed by people that have been in the field. We haven't like changed. Now we got just like product people that mm -hmm. or wherever we, we're still super focused on making it like super dialed and having the least amount of button clicks uh, so that you can just speed up your day and spend more time doing whatever else you want to do. Well, good. I love it, man. Well, I just want to tell, number one, um, if somebody wants to find you, they want to reach out to you, DM you or something. Are you on social media? Yeah. So I mean, easiest way is Instagram. It's at the Brad Mortensen. And then, you know, RepCard app is our Instagram handle on all social media. Okay. I love that, guys. You guys can go hit them up on social media if you want to reach out to them. Most importantly, okay, if you're in sales, if you're a leader, we're out here. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona at this time. we got a big event coming up this weekend. He's here. We're going to crush it. We're going to kill it. We're going to have a great time. I always surround myself with smart people, people that are really good in areas that I want to develop in. Um, I'm always trying to pick everybody's brain like, hey, what are you using? You know, like what's the best thing on the market? Like, you know, like like what's hot this year? Like, you know, because, you know, competition is it's very we're living a very competitive time right now where like, you know, like five years ago, you had to learn like one new skill a year. Right. You're in a time right now where you got to learn like 12 new skills a year just to stay <laughs> yeah. ahead. It's Seriously. just the truth. So like like this, this deal solves all of your problems, but you can't sit there on your ass and not take action. OK, like I can tell you what to do. I can tell you how to do it, but then you got to do it. And I'll just tell you, like the fact that it, it works in your mobile device, 99 percent of the world lives on this thing. Yeah. So like you're already using it. Everything you need is here. It's all very simple. And it's always with you. You know, for recruit opportunity comes up, for sale everything. could be wherever. Obviously, you could just use text message if, if you want. Yeah. But. The question is like, do you want to become great, and do you want to go to that next level? Yeah, and that's where this is. Will this is for people that want to build a career in sales. Yeah, look, I was, I was, and we'll, well, part part of our platform we haven't talked about much is, is the, the the review piece. Mm -hmm. So people get to review you when you sell them something. They review you as an individual, and they can even you know showcase a picture. We have some guys that are getting pictures with every homeowner they sell, mm -hmm. and then they post that picture on the review. So let's say you're selling solar for five years, and all of a sudden you flip and start selling cars, or start selling real estate, or whatever the next thing is. Mm -hmm. You get to take your rep card account with you and mm. take that reputation and all those reviews and that credibility onto your next journey. I love that. And so it's not just like, hey, I'm going to build this while I'm in real estate and then right. I'm going to switch over you're to You're saying this can sales. transfer to anything. It doesn't yeah, matter. It just can convert over. Even if you're under a business, they can remove you out of the business so you're not tied to that business anymore, but your account still goes with you mm -hmm. and you can take your reputation. They can strip all your leads and stuff so you're not taking like company data, Sure. but you get to take your reviews. Mm -hmm. and Like uh, the, skele the, the bones of, or the skeleton part of the yeah, outside. Yeah, uh -huh. you get to take your you know your profile picture and all that stuff and, and continue and on. Your reviews. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so listen, super important, man. If you're ready to scale, cru crush it and kill it, uh, 2024 is a time we're shooting this. I know that each year this is going to get bigger. Every month this is getting bigger. Everybody's using it. Um, you guys, quit playing small. I just want to say that to you guys. Like, quit playing small. Like, invest in yourself. Self-develop every single day. Get your hands on technology pieces that can make you better. And this is one of the greatest sales technology pieces that I've ever seen. And you can use it as an individual, which is what I love. Because I thought, honestly, in the beginning, I thought only big companies can have access to this. But then I learned that, dude, individual salespeople can have this. So now you become dangerous and you can take care of yourself, which I believe is super important. Then if you have a team, like, dude, get your team on this 911. So you guys, you can hit them up on Instagram. Make sure that you guys see there's a description box below. You guys can click that. I think it says, like, individual or I've got a team. You guys can get set up. Dude, go kill it. I'm telling you from, from my heart, everybody that's using this is crushing it. And that's why I wanted the owner himself to tell you how he built it, why he built it, what it does. And, dude, I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I appreciate it. We're going to have a kick-ass weekend, man. And, dude, hey, you guys uh, you guys owe me some money. I just gave you a way to make a whole bunch. Just, just send Let's me a go. check to the uh, Elliot Group. Let's go. See you guys next time. Let's get it. Peace.
Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.